hey what's up guys in this video we are going to talk about vectors in java vectors are dynamic arrays which can contain any number of elements and this is same as array list where we can grow the size of the vector and also we can shrink down the size of the vector dynamically so now we're gonna see how we can create one vector in our program so first we have to import the vector class which is located in java.util package so we have to write java.util.vector and this will import the vector class from the java.util package so now to create one vector first we have to write vector and then inside the angular bracket we have to specify the type of data we wanted to store in that vector so i'm gonna write string because i wanted to store string objects in that vector and now we have to give one name to the vector i'm gonna call it v1 and then after the equal sign we have to write new vector and then we again have to write the type of data we wanted to store in that vector and at the end we have one pair of parentheses and we have to close the whole statement with a semicolon so this constructor of vector has created one empty vector v1 and there are four different types of constructor that are available in vector in the second version of constructor where we can pass in size of the vector and this will create one vector with the specified size in the third type of constructor where we can specify the size and also we can specify the increment of that size and this will create one vector with the specified initial size and whenever the size exhausted then the size of the vector will increase by the increment value and in the fourth type of constructor where we can pass one collection object and this will initialize the vector with the elements of the collection object so these are the four types of constructors that are available in vector now we're gonna use the empty vector v1 and we are gonna add few elements to it I'm gonna pass in the string cat as the first element and the second element will be dog so first of all i have created one empty vector v1 and then i have added two string elements cat and dog to the vector v1 and now i'm gonna use the print method to print the vector v1 so i'm gonna save the program now i'm gonna compile and run the program and you can see the elements cat and dog has been printed onto the console so first of all i have imported the vector class which is located in the java.util package and then i have used the vector constructor and created one empty vector v1 and then i have added two string elements cat and dog to the empty vector v1 with the add method and at the end i have used the print method to print the elements of the vector v1 and this has printed the elements cat and dog onto the console so this is the way we can create one vector in our program hope you understand the concept i will see in the next one thank you